All right. Mm. So I wanted just to, even as we're delving uh, deeply on the, the issue of, uh, of the issue of how we have the blowbacks of this economy, I'd raise the issue of the twenty-one billion dollars that. Uh, Shilling. Maybe it's a typo. Shillings? Uh, no, no, it's not really a typo. I mm -hmm. think when sometimes when they say if you take a, a text out of context, it becomes mm -hmm. a, a pretext. Oh, okay. We should have read it contextually. <laughs> okay, okay. So this is the Kenya. Kenya loses straight one billion shillings on demo day as uh, Nairobi Security Exchange uh -huh. activity dips. Uh, President Ruto is under pressure to save economy as rival sides dig in the row over cost of living. And this is on page 10. I'll just head over there so that I can give you <coughs> maybe... Uh, a snippet of what they're saying so that we can actually put it into perspective that we'll be able now to get the clarity of what it really says here and now it's, it has been broken down where is it again it, it seems to me like uh, you're talking uh, about the, the the stock exchange or yes. the securities exchange securities exchange uh, lost mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right uh, yeah. it's it, not real money but it is but, but it is right yeah. it's paper wealth it yeah. is, uh, yeah, yes, so, so they say, okay, I can just read a snippet, mm -hmm. maybe, where mm -hmm. if my director may just pick it up in full, they we say the Kenya Private Sector Alliance up, mm -hmm. has estimated that uh, the Kenyan economy is losing a staggering three a billion. billion shillings, that is 21 uh, million shillings. Million dollars, yeah. Million dollars every yes. day yes. as a result of the anti-government protest. This figure has raised concern among businesses leading Kepsa to issue a warning that the country cannot afford the prevailing political activities mm -hmm. right every day so maybe this this billion mm. is what you're saying like, is a typo yeah uh, yeah but, the, billion, see, but, but it's not it's not 21 billion dollars yes 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 the, you are talking about 21, 21 million, million dollars the equivalent of, of three, three yes. billion shillings, shillings which is what mweshimua had already uh, offered from sure. the very beginning okay I get it could not be a, maybe a typo. <coughs> Looking at the rippling effect in numbers, the way they've broken out, they're saying that Mombasa's port total cargo throughout sh shrank to 33.7 33 million metric tons from 34.76 uh, metric tons in 2021, a 2.93% year on year drop, pushing the volumes to the lowest level since 2018 compared with Dar es Salaam with the same period. Cargo through, uh, throughput on the central corridor increased from 14.04 million metric tons in 2017 to 19.02 million metric tons in 2022. Uh, Mombasa handles 4,000 containers per day, with the SGR only taking about 1,300 of them. Uh, Kenya Private Sector Alliance says the economy is losing, that is what we read, uh, daily $21 million as a result of the anti government protest. The analysis based on official economic productivity data for 2022 shows that the com complete shutdown of the economy could cost an average of 36 billion shillings that is 255 million shillings in a single day with nairobi losing 22 billion uh, shillings okay mm. so we'll take that to be a typo mm. but let's just explore this uh, loss of money mm. uh, every day right with the protests and what now as you've mentioned earlier tanzania is gaining from this particular protest and we seem to be losing the sheen as a country as far as the investor-friendly environment uh, is concerned, what will be the remediate action? Despite the fact that we're talking about the conversation on this, yes, it will be, oh, they come on the table and then the country is in peace, then what? You know, I mentioned earlier, political stability and economic uncertainties have a very serious issues that the government needs to really listen because there's no way anyone would come to invest in this country with this kind of things that are happening. No one would put his money here. Mm -hmm. You can invite all the people and they can come visiting, but at the end of the day, putting pen to paper, and putting money into the account here, putting, it's not going to be easy with the kind of situation that we are seeing. Um, look, the demo was yesterday, yeah. but I can tell you on Tuesday, there were no loadings of trucks or anything from Mombasa port, mm. none because nobody wants to take a risk. The trucks will be on the way on Wednesday. Um, these trucks are not going to come into Nairobi. They are going all the way to Rwanda, to Burundi, mm. to, to, to Uganda, to South Sudan. Mm. 